Rapamycin inhibits mTOR, short for mechanistic target of rapamycin, in mTOR complex 1. mTOR complex 1 simultaneously stimulates the biosynthesis of macromolecules and cell cycle progression. Therefore, it is of major importance for the generation of new cells. mTOR is activated by Reb, a RAS homolog and a member of the family of small GTP aces in its GTP binding form. A complex of two proteins, TSC1, short for tuberous sclerosis complex 1, and TSC2, acts as a GTP ace activating protein for Reb. In its GDP binding form, Reb is no longer able to activate mTOR complex 1. Several signal transduction pathways lead to the TSC1 TSC2 complex. Specifically, TSC2 is a substrate of the AMP activated protein kinase. AMPK is an important energy sensing enzyme that monitors cellular energy status. AMPK is activated by what is known as the liver kinase B1, abbreviated LKB1. In response to cellular metabolic stress, the LKB1 AMPK pathway is activated, which inhibits the activity of mTOR complex 1. The TSC1 TSC2 GTP ACE is inhibited by the oncoprotein ACT. The PI3 kinase ACT pathway is one of the major pathways activated in human cancer. The phosphatase P10 shuts down the P13 kinase pathway. P10 counteracts the inhibition of the TSC12 complex via ACT. As a consequence, TSC12 inhibits the activity of mTOR complex 1. The signaling pathways leading to mTOR complex 1 are affected in sporadic tumors as well as in hereditary tumor syndromes. In poitz jaeger syndrome, the LKB1 gene is inactivated. This syndrome is characterized by multiple tumor-like lesions, called hematomas, in the gastrointestinal tract. The loss of LKB1 activity reverses the inhibitory action of the TSC12 complex on the activity of mTOR complex 1. The P10 gene is a tumor suppressor gene that plays a key role in Cowden syndrome. Patients with Cowden syndrome are also affected by multiple hematomas. One or both copies of the P10 gene are inactivated in various spontaneous carcinomas. Reduction or cessation of P10 activity leads to increased activity of ACT. This blocks the inhibitory activity of the TSC12 complex on mTOR complex 1 activity. In spontaneous carcinomas, mutations in genes affecting the PI3 kinase ACT pathway can increase the activity of ACT. This is associated with higher activity of mTOR complex 1. Mutations in either TSC1 or TSC2 cause tuberous sclerosis complex, a syndrome also accompanied by hematomas. The inactivation of either TSC1 or TSC2 leads to increased activity of mTOR complex 1.